Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today we're making a Valentine's Day card from start to finish. I'm using a really cute digital stamp. It is a CC design stamp. It's called Rusty. And I designed the little heart balloons behind him in my silhouette and then printed both of them out. I love using digital stamps because you can alter them, but there are some limitations to digital stamps as far as you can't re-stamp over it. I also cut out two different masks, one for the little robot and one for the balloons. And I'm adding some Tombow Mono liquid adhesive because when you let it dry for a few minutes, it becomes repositionable. So I'm using that as a mask just from cardstock. And actually the one I'm gluing up, I don't end up using because it was a little bit larger robot than the one I intended for for the card so I'll use another one that I had on hand and I already added my glue to the heart balloons and I'm going to set down a piece of non-stick mat behind it because I wanted to get those strings in place before I wanted anything else to stick so I just kind of set that there until I got that in place and once I was happy with that I went ahead and removed the non-stick piece and adhered down my balloons so here I'm going to place down my mask right over that little guy and I'm going to use some Distress Oxide and cut myself a little bit of a hill border. So I'm just cutting that from cardstock, kind of positioning it to see exactly where I want it. And once I was happy with that, I'm going to use the Crack Pistachio Distress Oxide and I'm wiping most of that off on that scrap piece of paper and just doing a light layer below it. I love how easily they blend the Distress Oxide. So again, I'm just flipping over my mask, deciding exactly how I want that hill behind him to look and adding a little bit more to that, the right side as well. And now I'll just add a little bit to darken it up at the bottom to get the color that I want. Here I'm using a mask that I created on my Silhouette Cameo and some Broken China Distress Oxide. And again, using a scrap piece of paper, even though I'm inking up my uh, sponge, I'm wiping most of it off on that distress, or excuse me, that scrap paper first before taking it to my cardstock. And that cardstock there I'm using is Nina Solar White Solar Crest 80 pound cardstock. I'll be sure to, to list in the description box all the sizes, but that piece there is five by three and three quarters. This is going to go on a standard A2 sized card, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm just pulling off my mask. It will rip here, and I kind of knew that it would because those strings are very delicate, very thin. So I went ahead and cut out a second one at the time in case I needed it or just for another card. So I'm just pulling that off and using a glue adhesive remover to remove any residue that was still sticking around. So now I'm going to color these with my Copic markers. I'm using C1, C3, and C5. I'll be sure to list up in the left-hand corner the colors that I'm using. And I'm going to go through the coloring rather quickly since I'm not, I'm still learning how to color. I'm still learning my shading. Um, so I will speed through this real quick and we'll be right back to finish the card.
I've completed the coloring and now I'm adding some Wink of Stella to the hearts and his little meter, heart meter, whatever that is. I did add a little black detail with the Sharpie marker and a little bit of white Signo white jelly roll pen. Here I'm using some American Crafts twine, tying off three little bows that I'm going to add to the heart balloons. And just using some Fabri-Tac, Beacon Fabri-Tac, I'm going to add those on there. Really tiny little bows. They dry rather quickly, but I do set a stamp block on top t until they dry. I'm going to score my cardstock. This is cut to finished card size, an A2 size card, five and a half by four and a quarter. So I cut it to 11 by four and a quarter and scored it in half at five and a half. And this is where I'm trying to decide, do I want the gray on the bottom or the top? And I really liked the gray on the bottom with a mat of the red right underneath my focal piece. So I'm going to use my tonic cutter, guillotine cutter, and I'm cutting this size down to five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And it's just going to give me a slight white border of my card. And then my red piece, I'm cutting to five and a quarter by four. Again, I'll have all these measurements down in the description box. And I'm just seeing how I like that. And now I was happy with the matting on that. So I'm using my ATG and adhering those down. I like to kind of angle it a little bit sideways and hold it on each corner to get a perfect mat. It allows me to be able to see it well enough to line it up. So again, this piece here is five by three and three quarters. I'm going to add my ATG to this one as well. I thought about adding some dimension under it, but I decided to add it flat down. And these two little pieces I cut from the Cameo as well. It says, be mine. I use the same gray and red cardstock and I'll use my Fabri-Tac to adhere those down. I could have used a die cut to cut those out, but I had the Cameo on and it sits right behind me, so it was very convenient to just print and cut them out real quick. And now I wanted to add an inside piece, so I'm going to cut this to five and a quarter by four, and then another mat that I printed out is cut to five by three and three quarters and that gives me a nice little red mat to go on the inside to finish up my card. I do have one more quick card to share with you today and it's going to be the exact same size, an A2 sized card. I am using an EK success punch that I believe has been dis discontinued and I'm also using some Crystal Nouveau drops in white. I hope you stay through to the end and thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed these two cards today. Have a great day.